doctor calls vitamin C a cure to cancer for opioid addicts? This is Matt Finch with Elevation Recovery. We've got some really cool stuff for you today if you're on opioids and want to know how to get off more comfortably. Here's a clip from my vitamin C article from many years ago. In 1979, Dr. Schaus gave a presentation on one of the studies he conducted a decade earlier. He reported that out of 20 addicts that compiled with the high doses of vitamin C protocol, each one reported very few symptoms commonly experienced during heroin or opioid withdrawal. Dr. Janice Keller Phelps, MD, the medical director for the King County Center for Addiction Services, commented at the end of the presentation that the idea that vitamin C could help heroin addicts was total nonsense. What happened then? Well, Dr. Schaus challenged her to try the treatment for one month with any of the hardcore heroin addicts in her treatment program. Dr. Keller Phelps decided to take the challenge. She then traveled to meet with many other doctors who had been having success using vitamin C for opioid withdrawal. After she saw the results these other doctors were getting, she soon returned to Seattle and began using vitamin C in the form of sodium ascorbate at the addiction treatment facility in King County, Washington. Want to know what happened next? As a result, she had incredible success ameliorating the withdrawal symptoms of heroin abusers. There were even dramatic results with individuals that had been addicted to heroin for 25 years who went through a plethora of withdrawals. She was of the opinion that vitamin C for opioid withdrawal was like a cure to cancer for opioid addicts. Recently, I read about people having mind-blowing results using mega doses of vitamin C for opioid withdrawal on the forums, and I was shaking my head at the utter ignorance of some of the responses. I read some really cool testimonials of people that said mega doses of vitamin C completely stopped all of their withdrawal symptoms. Then I continued reading the threads and most of the comments were negative. Over 90% of the other forum members that commented didn't believe these stories. They made jokes and stated there was no way vitamin C could work that well, otherwise the whole world would know about it. I guess it's the belief in the old saying that if it sounds too good to be true, it must be. But that made me wonder why virtually nobody is aware of vitamin C's capacity to stop opioid withdrawal. Didn't take me long to figure out the answer. Then I found research to back up my suspicion. After Dr. Keller Phelps had her amazing results with vitamin C, mega dosing and thought of it as a cure to cancer for opioid addicts, she contacted officials of the National Institute for Drug Abuse and Alcoholism in Washington, D.C. She asked them to send a fact-finding team to come question her patients that had the amazing results from using vitamin C for opioid withdrawal. Some people from the National Institute for Drug Abuse and alcoholism came and interviewed many of the patients over the course of a few days. They were very impressed with the results, although several months later they refused to endorse the treatment. How could this be? What I find funny is during the exact same time they sent fact finders to interview Dr. Keller Phelps' patients, Nita was studying the medication called buprenorphine, better known now as Suboxone or Subutex, a semi-synthetic partial opioid agonist for the treatment of opioid withdrawal. Nita was also a proponent of the use of methadone for opioid withdrawal. In 1990, Nita created the Medications Development Division with the goal of manufacturing medications to treat addiction. In 1994, they formed a partnership with the very first manufacturer of buprenorphine to get the medication available for use. The FDA approved it in 2002, and now there's an army of people that have been stuck on buprenorphine for years or even decades. I wrote this article called How to Mega Dose Vitamin C to Stop Opioid Withdrawal on February 14th of 2015, around 18 months after I started my first website, opiateaddictionsupport.com. There are 103 votes with an average rating of 4.41 stars out of five stars, and there are 469 comments on the comment thread. Please remember that this is just informational, educational use only, and it's definitely not medical advice. I also think buprenorphine and methadone are awesome medications that have helped save a lot of people's lives and relationships and more. Another thing I'll note is there's a few different studies online on vitamin C for opioid withdrawal. All the studies, at least that I found, showed that high dose vitamin C appears to be very significant at ameliorating opioid withdrawal symptoms. So you have a few options at this point. Number one is you could just dismiss this like many people do. Ah, if it's too good to be true, I'm not going to do it. It's probably too good to be true. 
or you could look further into this in the description box of this video i'll put a link to the article i wrote on vitamin c for opioid withdrawal and within that article there's also links to the studies on vitamin c for opioid withdrawal now it's also important to know that that article is around six years old nowadays i'm sure if i prepared a vitamin c for opioid withdrawal tutorial it would be way better so here's where i'm going with this if this video gets enough people commenting on it telling me yes matt i want you to make a full video tutorial showing me how to mega dose vitamin c to alleviate acute withdrawal symptoms quitting opioids if i feel like there is enough buzz for this and you want me to create this information then i promise you that i will do that i will create an educational use only not medical advice video tutorial on how to get off opioids with the most minimal amount of withdrawal symptoms possible using the proper type and dosage of vitamin c and other things then you can run that by your doctor and see what they think if you've tried vitamin c for opioid withdrawal in the past and it was worked well for you or didn't work well or whatever happened post your comments about it. If you've never heard about this, but you're excited about it, leave a comment that you're excited about it. My old channel on YouTube, Opiate Addiction Support, has 14,500-ish subscribers, but I got two strikes. And if I get one more strike on that channel, then it's deleted forever. Why did I get strikes? Because I was talking about Kratom, and I'm being much smarter about it on this channel than I was in the last channel. Now that I know how specific the rules have become regarding talking about drug use, quitting drugs, alcohol, etc. And I'm really trying to grow this channel, but it's going so, so slow despite making really helpful videos. And that's on me because I have not been asking you to give the video a thumbs up, to subscribe, to post a comment because that shows YouTube that there's more engagement and people are really liking this channel and engaging with it. That means the YouTube gods will show this channel and videos to many more people that need this information. And so I'm asking you from the bottom of my heart to help me in this mission, even if it's just a small thing by putting a thumbs up on every video that you like when you watch it or sharing one of these videos in a addiction recovery online group that you're in, if that's permitted by creating a playlist on your YouTube channel with some of these videos on here. All right. So thanks so much for watching. As always, have a great one to help me get this information out, trying to build a community with this channel here. It's exciting. And I want to continue to create videos that are educational, inspirational, motivational, empowering, entertaining, that makes sense. And so always feel free if you have any ideas for videos that you'd like to see, topics you'd like to see covered. I love it. It's so much fun for me. It's such a creative project and it provides me with so much meaning. So if you want to help me help others, you know what to do and I'll see you soon.